First, let's talk about Eclipse. Why Eclipse? Well, Eclipse is a really nice IDE. It uh, actually is a completely free IDE, and Google has backed Eclipse by providing an Android uh, Android developer toolkit that is installed into Eclipse, which makes Android development much easier. It's also pretty universal, and a lot of Java developers use Eclipse. There's no installation required for Eclipse. Basically, we're just going to download the Eclipse file, and then we're going to unzip it, and then run the executable. I'm also going to recommend that the version of Eclipse that you get is the Eclipse for IDE for Java developers. There are several versions and lots of different packages out there that you can choose from. In fact, some third-party vendors bundle up uh, different Eclipse installations, which makes things rather confusing, especially with all the plugins. Um, I'm also going to recommend that you go ahead and get the 32-bit version of the Eclipse IDE. Uh, I had some problems with the 64-bit version on Windows 7, and you don't really get any advantage using the 64-bit version, so I'd, I'd recommend uh, going ahead and just installing the 32-bit version. And you can find Eclipse at Eclipse.org. So let's go ahead and download Eclipse. I'm going to go ahead and go to Eclipse.org. And I'm going to select Downloads. And then I'm going to choose the Eclipse IDE for Java developers. And I'm going to grab the 32-bit version. Go ahead and download this file. And remember I said that Eclipse doesn't have an installation. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a directory in my program files called Eclipse. And then I'm going to take the contents of the Eclipse that I downloaded. And I'm just going to copy them into that directory. Now we can just launch the Eclipse.exe just to verify that we can run Eclipse. And Eclipse allows us to select a workspace and we can just choose a default. And you can see that we've successfully installed Eclipse.